Hey, buddy. Do you got any, uh, you know, woodworking experience? You know, like, I'm trying to do this, like, bass boat. John boats a bass boat conversion, and it does a lot of woodworking. Oh, Bo, you know? Do you have any woodworking experience? I could really use a hand. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along with the boat restoration series, we have cleaned this baby out, we power washed it, scrubbed it down, we then we painted it and now it has come time to build this bass boat deck inside of this. So I'm excited, we went over to the hardware, we got our two by fours, all of our lumber, plywood, all the things that we need for today and we're gonna start building this thing right now. All right, so what we're rocking with here is our craftsman tools, wood screws. We got our joist hangers right here. Got some corner braces to uh, brace the plywood when we're putting it in the boat. Of course, our dirty gallon of water. Got to stay hydrated. Then we got our plywood right here, and then we got our two by fours over there. Let's get to work. Okay, go to the next one. which it was, we should be good. Yeah. 
I was like a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so you're good. Ha! You're good. That you're was good. right. So I was just working. And voila, there it is guys. The deck for our John boat to bass boat conversion is completely finished in the front. I can't be more happy with how it turned out. It's super stable. It was tons of fun to build and we're gonna catch some awesome fish off of it. So the next step in this process is going to be weather sealing this plywood. So I bought treated four, two by fours. So the two by fours are gonna be good to go. But this plywood, I didn't wanna spend $160 on marine plywood. So I bought the $55 pine. Well, so we definitely need to treat it. But before we do that, I wanna give you a rundown on just how we built it and what, the, what it really looks like. Just talk about the build process overall because you probably saw it, but we didn't do much talking as we went about it. So I'm gonna show you what we did. All right, so here's the finished deck and it looks awesome. And I just wanna tell you about this hole right here. This is where the trolling motor is gonna mount right alongside here. And then right here, the foot pedal for the trolling motor is gonna be right here in this box. We're gonna put a foot pedal tray in there and then we're gonna attach the trolling motor and things like that. So that's what this hole is right here. All right, so this is what the frame looks like inside of the boat. So two of the most important pieces of two by four right here is this one right here. And the way this is supported is that we met, mounted some metal brackets on the side here, some metal angle that way this two by four can sit on top of that metal angle that is bolted to the side of the boat. And yes, when we bolted that to the side of the boat, we put silicone behind some washers that way no water could possibly leak into the boat. So that's how it's mainly supported. And then we also attached a post right in the middle of this two by four to, a hold, to support this as well. And the other two by four that is like the main support two by four is this one right here. It's underneath of all of these. And all these two by fours that are running across these floor joists, they're resting on top of this two by four that is resting on top of this aluminum seat that is already built into the boat. And then there's one other post up here that we added just for extra support near the tip of the boat. But the rest of these two by fours are the floor joists and they're running from this Resting on top of this other one we talked about, running all the way to the tip of the boat here. And then after we did all that, we added in these middle connector pieces just to strengthen up the support just a little more once we have our plywood on top and we're walking around. So this baby is sturdy. And the way we connected all these is just wood screws. And we did two uh, floor joist hangers right here, just for the added support, real good structure back here. Here's what we're gonna be using to seal this. This is a real nice wood, uh, exterior wood protector. It's Waterlocks Marine. It's, a, it's a, just a wood finish that you put on something to protect it. Real nice stuff here. Home Depot. So my boat is 13 and a half miles, five wide. Yep. That's my boat. So 
I'm gonna check yeah. some out. Yeah, they actually don't have any. Give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, this bullet oh, Harry trying to oh, keep oh, up with you. This bullet. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Dude, I ran like that. Since last video. Since last video. Making them in. How do you feel? Slice Yes. Solid. I never thought there'd be Jordans on my boat though. Brother. Oh, I'm trying to get the deck out of the boat. That way I can carpet it. I can't get it out because it's so heavy. Okay. So what I was planning to do was screw the plywood to the two by fours and completely connect uh, the deck together and then take it out of it so I can finish up screwing in uh, the plywood to all the two by fours. Then we could carpet it. But thing is, I'm, I'm washed up. I can't, I could not lift this thing out of the boat by myself. So we called up Ty, he should be over. We're bringing the big guns in to get this fat deck out of the boat. And hopefully then we can carpet it. I think our savior is arriving. There he is. Our savior has arrived in Pit Vipers, Luke Combs music and Hummer. There he is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. I'm free balling it. I mean, free eyeing it. Free eyeing it. Free balling it. I'm free balling it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, you don't have underwear on? <laughs> Yeah, you might be able to just move it. I don't know what you say half the time. I'm free balling it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say free eyeing it. Yeah. Or free handing it. Free handing. Oh my That's gosh. what it is. She took four free three. I didn't threes. even realize. Free eyeing it still sounded goofy. We're but free balling like, it on the free bird carpet. Right. If you didn't have Joe, what do you think? Like, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. So satisfying. Oh. So satisfying. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a time limit on this process. For this cool stuff right here. I look like a pro right now. Yeah, low key. Oh my gosh. What? It smells like something. What? It smells like my sinus. But, but maybe that was just my nose. Like I could smell it in there for some reason out of nowhere. I just got a big old whip on it. Alright, we gotta be precise. It's about behind me. Alright, be precise. Oh, that looks perfect. <laughs> Get so much drive and passion. I have so much passion for this boat.
gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. And here it is, guys. The deck is finally finished. Couldn't be more, more happy with how this baby turned out. It is beautiful. It's sturdy. But not only is it sturdy, it is comfortable with this really nice and expensive carpet from Home Depot. Just kidding. But we glued the carpet down, as you saw, and then we nailed it up on the sides. It fits really good in the boat. I just couldn't be more happy with how this thing turned out. Shout out to my girlfriend's dad for allowing me to do this in his shop and provided me a bunch of tools and just a little knowledge on how to build this thing overall. He was a huge help, so thanks, Joel. So yeah, next step, add the trolling motor on the side, get the foot pedal in here installed, and then get the wiring from the back to the front all figured out. And then we might even add a fish finder right around in this general area. So guys, stick with it, stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you made it all the way to the end, you're an OG. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button down below if you liked and enjoyed this video. So guys, I appreciate everything you do for me and I'll see you all on the next one. We out.